Okay, now I've got a photograph here called Steve Marsh which I want to edit in GIMP. So I'm just going to click on it and drag it into the work area of GIMP where I'm going to drop it. And that's now the photograph of Steve open. Now what I want to do is extract his head and get rid of everything else. So I'm going to zoom in quite close to do that. So that's view, zoom, and I'm I'm going to go in 4 to 1, which is really quite close, but I do want to be quite close. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this tool over here, which is called the paths tool. Looks like a pen. And I'm going to click on that to select it. And now with the end of the arrow I'm just going to click at various points around the outside of the area that I want to keep. I'm using this bar to help me move around. I could make the window bigger and <laughs> fit it all in if I chose to do that but I'm not going to do. And I've got a scroll bar on my mouse so I don't have to use the side navigation bar to go down but I think you can probably see what I'm doing I'm just clicking to follow the area of Steve's face pretty much and I'm gonna click around his chin because I'm gonna make up a neck for the picture and just drag that sideways and now it is important when you're doing this to make sure you keep going round in the same direction. For example, I can't go and click back over at another point I've made and then join up in this direction. I've got to keep going round in the direction I chose. Um, I chose to do it clockwise, I could have chosen to do it anti-clockwise. The only important thing is that each click joins up to the next one that you make because the computer obviously doesn't understand what you're trying to do. So all I'm doing is drawing straight lines from one click to the next one which is why I'm having to make so many of them to make an accurate tracing of Steve's face and hair. And pretty much finished now. And final one to just join everything up. So that's now gone all the way around Steve's head. So I want to select that from path. And I've done that, so that's good. I can now edit and either cut or copy, I don't care. Cut looks a bit more dramatic, so I'll do that. So you can see we've taken Steve's face now and now I can edit and I want to paste as a new image and there we are that is now Steve's face removed from all the stuff we didn't want fantastic